Oh, I thought it did. My mistake. Uh, we'll play regardless. I don't have a save file, so that means I've never played it. Arrow shows path for Mario's item. Pretty standard. You switch blocks. Start it. Yeah, you know, I love a quick... <clears throat> I love a quick tutorial. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Ah. I love hacks that have flow like this. Whoops. Oh, uh, what's going on, Silas? Good morning. Small coins. Um, the ROM hack creator didn't want to offend anyone who might have a, uh, a small penis. Because big coins would make them feel insecure about themselves, you know what I mean? Oh. Shit. Oh. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> makes sense. Does that really make sense? Does that really make sense? They're just saying words. They're not small coins, they're average. I wanted to loop back, get a bigger jump, and respawn the spike top. I disliked Mario for that, but now that I'm being represented, thank you, Mr. Mod Hacker. Read you like a book. No one can read me. You ever see the video of the bodybuilder getting interviewed and he goes nuts over the su over someone saying he has a little dick? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a link? Oh. You got a link to this? <laughs> It's a big penis, goddammit! You call that freaking out? I, I was expecting him to like... Wow, that was like complete misadvertising, Zizen. He's also Australian. Watching Australians get angry is funny.
Yeah, yeah, I agree, Hippo. My six months old finally broke his teeth. He's been screaming like crazy the last few days. Hey, you know, Apo, mine has too. Oh my god, dude! Dude. You guys. We gave my son beef yesterday. Because we're doing baby led weaning, right? We're uh, giving him all kinds of foods, letting him try it all out. Oh my god. He is his father's son. <laughs> he is his father's son, no doubt. Boy loves the beef. Boy, does he love the beef. We fucking gave- so we- we made- so because last night we had tacos, right? We had talk we had beef tacos. And, uh... We made him, like, these little, like, strips of beef, so, like, little beef sticks. Right? And we've been giving him enough food now to where we can kind of give him a full meal when we're eating. So we gave him, like, broccoli and beef. And it was steamed broccoli, right? Because he still has to be able to pinch it with his gums. And... He was like, broccoli? Uh, beef? It was great. Your kids both love steak, rare and juicy. We can't give him rare steak yet. But, yeah, he loved the beef. That is a correct response. Oh. The fuck was that? Yeah, steamed broccoli isn't it? like I even had a piece and I'm like, I wouldn't want to really eat that either. My father tells stories of sneaking me teriyaki beef when you were a small kid. We're waiting as long as we can to introduce sugar to him. And teriyaki is pretty heavy in sugar. dude. This time next year, Tova was reduced to offcuts while Jason is stealing his meat. I hated veggies when I was a baby. Parents had to blend it for you to eat it. I saw a bit of a woman giving cola in the bottle to a baby. You don't want to shame her, but it just felt wrong. Why wouldn't you want to shame her? Why not? This world's gone too fucking, uh... We're, we're too much of a pussy now. We're, we're sparing too many feelings. Pe things should be shamed, okay? Things should be shamed. Giving fucking soda to a baby in a bottle should be shamed. abso fucking lootly. I don't know if they should go to jail over it, but they should be shamed. 
pour it in a cup for God's sake. Bodybuilder's penis should be shamed. Augustus Caesar, if your mother saw that man, she would allow him to use the back of her throat as a dartboard, okay? I don't think the size matters. What's going on, Shocking Shields? Somebody needs to tell their ideas are dumb or else it repeats. Exactly. It's cute as shit to see a kid's face with carbonation, though. Uh, we gave our kids sips from 3 to 7-ish. Your kids don't actually like carbonated stuff. Oops. We, uh, we gave our son a lemon, too. We gave him a slice of lemon. It's, you know, it's like the typical baby reaction, right? But what was funny is, uh, we gave him the lemon and he was like, and then we'd take it away and then he'd want more. Occasionally watered down juice. Your son makes a face and says no thanks. The move is to scare them away with soda with uh, Topo Chico. I mean, it's really easy. As long as you just don't keep soda in the house. Me and my wife, we don't keep soda in the house. If we have soda, it's like, uh... It's like a movie theater thing. Moby Dude, thank you for 32 months and fuck your attempt at trying to TTS us. My son hates soda when we finally let him try it. He said it was too spicy. Hey, you know what? Never argue with him. <laughs> let it happen. It's awesome. What? You're a soda fiend? What about ginger ale for upset stomachs? No, we don't even keep ginger ale in the house. The only thing we do keep in the house that's ever carbonated is energy drinks. These Alani new little fuckers are, uh... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but that's for the caffeine and beta alanine, baby! I don't like the soda hate. Dovo even looks like Soda Popinski from Punch Out. A 
Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to, uh... Do you want me to drink a three liter of Mountain Dew in solidarity? With you, Driven Prostate. Is that what you would prefer? Where's my Mountain Dew? And a bag of Cheetos. I can't tell you the last time I had a fucking Cheeto. <laughs> Are three liters a thing now? Haven't they always been a thing? You're goddamn right I won't. If I'm going to put shit in my body, it's definitely not going to be a fucking Cheeto. Oh, I'm, I see, I see, I see. I have a can on Mountain Dew tattooed on my foot. <sighs> Two liters, three liters, whatever. Uh, soda pop does fit tofu, kinda. I've uh, never played Punch Out. Okay. It's boring as shit. Any of them? No, not a single one. When are we going to get gallons of soda? Even though I love soda, I fully acknowledge it, uh, its many flaws. Johnny Banana, can you give me one benefit to soda? Just one. There's only one benefit to soda that I can possibly think of. Okay, I'm sorry, make that two. Bubbles go blub 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 blub. I said positives, a sugar boost is not a positive, you fucking water buffalo. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a funny word to say. Taste and it clears off fucking uh, clean shit. It helps digesting food, I read that once. <laughs> Fucking A, guys. Come on. <laughs> ah, no. You knew someone who drank so much Mountain Dew, their kidneys began to shut down? Diet soda in regulated quantities is perfectly fine for you. Trust me. Shut the fuck up. Johnny Bananas, you probably don't even know how to pronounce the word. Johnny Bananas, you probably say aspartame, don't you? People who criticize aspartame don't even actually know that it's fine for humans to consume. It's a part of me! As part of me.
Streamer doesn't understand his audience. We are watching Mario on Sunday. We're basically shut-ins. Oh. It's not good for you, but it's not going to fucking... Like, people think that a spark... Uh, oh my god, I almost said it. People think... Oh my god, hold on. Mm. I bit a piece off of my lip because it was peeling. I was like... Stopping me from talking. Hold on. Okay. Um, I almost said a spar to me. Aspartame, a lot of people think correlate to like it increases the amount of carbohydrates that your body retains, it causes cancer, causes all these fucking other defects. Aspartame is fine. It's fine. It's not gonna fucking kill you. In great amounts. I don't even drink. Dude, I don't even fucking drink diet shit. I don't even drink diet shit, but it's it's one of those things where people hear the word and they fucking lose their fucking mind. <clears throat> people need to stop supporting these Illuminati companies. You're gonna go cook a bacon wrapped steak and egg for breakfast? That sounds delicious. The Facebook articles! Yeah, like, dude, if you're going to indulge and drink a soda, don't. Wh why, why even bother with the diet? Just have a fucking soda. Why even. Why, why are you gonna. Why are you gonna sit there and fucking sacrifice. the shit? Or something that's gonna taste worse for you. Calories? I mean, if that's the case, then just have fucking ginger ale. Oh, fuck. Fuck them calories, I burned 1800 of them. But my sugar. Have some control and enjoy a regular ass soda. How many people in chat believe that they consume enough water on a daily basis? You check your pee color? That's not an indicator. Is one bottle enough? What is a bottle? About three liters a day. God damn, dude. Two liters a day? Let's see. I have three of these. How much is this? Hold on. I can tell you. Do water burgers count? Uh. All right. I would say, so what's 16 times 3? That's what, 54? 48? 48? I never said I was good at math. I drink about 48 ounces of water a day. That's how much I drink. 
It should be an ounce per pound per day. You only have 16 ounces a day? Johnny Bananas, how many sodas do you drink a day? Be honest. Be honest, Johnny. <laughs> 45 to 60 a day. I drink two liters of milk a day and it probably has 20% water in it. So add to the 500 milliliters of water. I'm at around 900 milliliters of water a day. I've gotten used to being slightly dehydrated every day as a teacher. Oh no, that's not something good to be used to. That is not something good to be used to, dude. of milk sounds like constant IBS. Being thirsty means you're already dehydrated. I don't think that's true. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for that one. The internet wins today. Keep your teachers slightly thirsty. Keep them motivated. Are we just saying words now? Toast intolerant. I work outside, I know the rules, so I don't die. Driven Prostate, how many beers have you had this morning? If you're not in your drowning while awake, you're dehydrated. Don't forget to also wait one hour after eating to go back in the pool. Myth. You almost die from dehydration while young, so you have a fear of de dehydration. Have you guys seen people who, uh, they have rabies and try and drink a glass of water? Have you guys seen that shit? I have to. There's no way all of you guys have seen it. Dude, it's, it's insane. So when you have rabies, your body becomes hydrophobic. Where there's like something going on in your brain that makes you physically incapable of consuming water. This is the reaction when you try and drink water when you have rabies. Your body physically does not let you. Yeah, when you have these symptoms, you're already dead. This woman? Oh. 
See, is this another There's one? There's only one condition that makes you deathly afraid of water. And once you have it, it's nearly 100% fatal. This is rabies, and it's the reason that animals foam at the mouth when they have it, because they're afraid of swallowing. There's yeah. only one condition that makes... Isn't that wild? Isn't that fucking wild? Like, imagine, imagine being out of control of your own body. Now imagine this. That's how most of you guys are when it doesn't have some kind of fucking sugar inside of the drink. You're like, huh? Huh? No, 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 no. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, we're good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sody pop. Getting four painful rabies shots is worth getting if you're bit by an unvaccinated animal. Wait, there's anti-vax animals? You drink Coke Zero then. Or Pepsi Max. Thoughts on kombucha? Um, I've never drank kombucha. Good morning, Rubens Coria. God, this is hard. <laughs> Mostly the sheep. Kombucha is awesome, just damn expensive. There are animals that can't have vaccinations due to conditions. I got a kidney stone a few years ago. Exacerbated by dehydration. Worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I always drink plenty of water now. Water is fine and all, till you gotta drink three or four gallons a day. It's old quick. Makes pickle juice sound good. Wait, three to four gallons? In what universe do you need to drink four fucking gallons of water? What are you, in a fucking horse piss contest? Dude's a giraffe. Dude's trying to become Hydro Man from Spider Man. Rabies aside, I've seen a raccoon fuck a dog up. Time for a belly button check. Nope, today there is no lint inside my belly button. We should be taxing sugar like we tax tobacco. Uh, I don't want to pay any more taxes, dude. Fuck taxes. Fuck you for thinking we should pay more taxes. Do you not clean your belly button when you shower? Why do you always have gunk inside your belly button, you nasty fucking prick? Mika, I just said my belly button had nothing in it. Do you not have fucking listening comprehension skills or what? Do you need hooked on phonics? Do I need to give you the same fucking lessons I give my son? Bah. Bah. Baby. Way more people are addicted to sugar than tobacco. 
Hooked on phonics works for me. 90 plus degrees, just leak water. I'm talking about the other dozen times you pulled out a lump of sticky furry gunk and putrid, you putrid fuck. When? Go find a clip, Mika. The past two years, I have not found a single piece of belly button lint inside my belly button. Extra gaslight? It's because of fat people I have to pay extra for a sh full sugar coke. How many people in chat take a shower, stick their finger in their belly button, and it's this big fucking wad of goopy shit. Sugar tax is a fat tax. How- look it, I don't know how to tell you this, Johnny Bananas, but being fat is already taxing on your body. <laughs> Half of chat doesn't even take a shower. You think Mika's projecting? How many sugars? <laughs> Mika! Mika, send me the link! Wait, I don't need to scroll too far up. I'm sure of it. Wait, no, you put it in my Discord, didn't you? found it. How many sh <laughs> I found it. Sugars do you have in your Pepsi? I have five. One. Uh, that's one sugar. Two. Two sugars. Three. Three sugars. Four. Four sugars. Five. Five sugars. Mmm. Stir it around. Nom 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 nom. Stir it. I like to stir it. Stir mm. it. Stir it. Stir all day. Cross this ocean. Nom 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 nom. I'm coming home tonight. Don't let it play. That's because I wasn't eating. My blood sugar controls me 110%. Eating sugar so you get the day. <laughs> it almost pulled up Nico Cotto Avocado. <laughs> Glad I clicked out on that one. <laughs> I'm actually even. <laughs> we got a frame of him. I just wanted to show the Pepsi. Chad, how many sugars do you guys have in your Pepsi? I almost want to try it. Just to make content out of it. I want to try it just to make content out of it. Because my body can handle it, Mika, that's why. Please, don't you have a child? This Pepsi's a fucking, uh... That's a fucking scam, it has no sugar in it. Is 
Isn't that just called a float, Ling Fling? Isn't that just a, isn't that just a float? There we go. Sugar water. I need sugar water. <sighs> yeah, finally, that took me fucking forever. Have you heard of Sorbitol? No. What is Sorbitol? Yeah, I know of Sorbitol. Yeah. Yeah, I know I know what Sorbitol is. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure there's Sorbitol in here. Yeah, there's Sorbitol in here. Zero grams of sugar alcohol. Alright, it's an Alani new energy drink. My wife loves these things, and she buys them every now and then. I usually have them on weekends, because uh, I wake up at 3.40, start stream by 4 a.m., don't really have time to make coffee. Um... Fucking shit. You're trying to kick coffee? Why? Imagine talking shit about soda and then drowning in an energy drink. Yeah, yeah. We're all hypocrites in our own way. Oh. We're all hypocrites in our own way. You know they make programmable coffee pots and you can make your coffee before you go to bed so it's ready when you wake up? Uh, that is true. But when I have coffee... And I realize I did not explain this earlier. When I have coffee... I can't just have coffee. You know where I'm going with this? I'm a bitch, dude. I'll say it right here first. I'm a bitch. Fucking shit. <clears throat> I can't drink coffee black. That shit is more fucked than American healthcare, man. I can't do it. I gotta fucking spruce it up like I'm Reese Witherspoon in Legally Blonde. I need I need creamer. I need I need cream and sugar. I'm weak. You know what? I'm I'm perfectly okay with it. I have tried. I tried. I have tried. I have tried to drink coffee black. I've tried. I can't do it. 
It's like I've got fucking rabies, dude. I can't do it. Yeah, it's too bitter for me, dude. It's too bitter for me. Wait five more years, your palate will change. <sighs> Just chew the coffee beans raw! <laughs> then you don't drink coffee, you drink a milk drink? Okay, what is an acceptable ratio for coffee, milk, and sugar? We're talking, are we talking like 80% coffee, 15% milk, 5% sugar? Or like, what, what, what's the ratio here? To where it's still acceptable coffee. One hundred percent milk, zero percent coffee. Coffee gatekeepers are the worst. I drank coffee black for years, recently switched back to just cream and I like it a lot better. What do you use for cream? Do you just use milk or like half and half? I'm pretty sure that's just hot chocolate. 95% <laughs> coffee, 5% Twitch chat tears. Hamilton's creamer. Take it. If I don't get keep coffee, people will find out I have literally nothing else interesting about my life or my personality. Imagine being so insecure. What is something that you guys take pride in? That you know deep down is because you tie it so much to your personality. What is something that you guys that you guys do? Quality, maybe a characteristic. Or, uh, you know, like fucking being bald. I have lost all my pride. You work? Alcoholism. Because everyone's got it, dude. Be curious about Watch things. tofu. Watch tofu. Uh, Mega Saman, thank you for 28 months. Nothing? Kafuni, you play Smash Brothers, that's enough. You play Smash Brothers and you pretend like you're fucking amazing at it, okay? That's tight enough to your personality that y you obviously fucking carry it to you. Eating steak and working out. I was gonna say, for me, I know it's- I- I- I cook the best steak. I- I like to pride myself on the steaks that I cook. I play the game casually, you fucker. Meanwhile, three stocks everyone he fights against. I'm just 
such a casual at the game. I've only won like 10 tournaments and they were only locals. Best thing about playing Smash Brothers is how much time you save per day by never showering. We might be playing Smash Brothers later today. Yours is making money. Are we going to kick later? Yep. Did I three stock you with K rule? Did I? I must be thinking of another Cthulhu. God fucking damn it. That was Kickbin. Um, dude, the website keeps making improvements to it. They just uh, introduced. I, I know you guys are going to say, how come they didn't start with this? Um, they just added uh, live clipping. So now you can make clips and they have a whole clip section uh, dedicated for the, the platform. Just something that they did not have before. Literally happened yesterday. Oh. Fucking shit. Every software should have everything it ever wanted from launch. If you don't agree, you're a bigot. You can show your asshole on kick? No, you can't. That is false information, Sonny. Dude, I will remember about these bullets, I swear to God. Hard pass from you. Oh, not being able to show asshole. I get a dude. You can show your asshole at Barnes and Noble. Imagine a gaming streamer on Chatterbait. What do you mean imagine? It gives them a shitty image. Are you guys gaslighting me here? What's going on with Barnes & Noble that I don't know about? The fuck are you guys on about?
a non-lewd streamer? Why would that ever be on Chatterbait? What would be the benefit? There's no benefit. That would be like going to McDonald's to purchase lumber from like that you could buy from Lowe's. No one's gonna go to fucking McDonald's to purchase lumber for your backyard or for a uh, home renovation. It's an untapped market channel. You are so fucking stupid. All that soda's gone to your fucking brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oops. According to his ounce per pound ratio, he drinks 450 of water t per day. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mika. You have a non-Gamba stream on Kick, so I am not wrong. You don't have any idea what Kick is then if you think it's exclusively gambling over there. There's tons of video game streamers over there. What are you on about? That is the biggest false equivalence I've ever seen in my life. And I argued politics inside of a Discord channel. You literally are just saying words. Well, according to the Reddit post that I was reading, it is for gambling, right? You realize there's more gambling on Twitch than there is kick? Fuck. Oh. Yeah, I've got fucking rabies this morning, Mika. It's actually for laundering dirty money. Shut up, European. No one asked you. Not percentage-wise, there isn't. Trust me, I know. I'm a fortunate motherfucker, and I completely understand the entire dichotomy of a new streaming platform. Henry the Fortunate, I I've got a question for you. I've got a question for you. Uh, can you tell me what a W2 is? I've got fucking 10 gift subs that says you can't. It's a tax form, isn't it, for employment? You say that with the question mark. Isn't it? I 
I know WW2. Isn't that an American tax form? Fuck, that's right, it's the weekend. I'm streaming to a fucking bunch of Europeans. You guys don't have W2s over there, do you? God fucking damn it. Yeehaw! One Brazilian, you're always here. It's a good thing I'm also an American then. He knew what a W-2 was. It was employment he was confused about. All my W-2 is is a form showing that I lost about 30% of my paycheck. I lost 30% of my paycheck. And all I have to show for it. Now, you know what? Never mind. I'm not. I'm not. Never mind. Just kidding. Retract. Say it, coward. It's not that I'm afraid to say it. It's I just don't feel like having a political discussion at six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. How hard is it to Google? Uh, about as difficult as it is to Google what a pool toy is without finding a bunch of furry propaganda. It's 9.30, actually. How many of you guys right now live on the East Coast? Me, 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 me. Ontario. You're Canadian, Chrono? Don't you know, eh? Seven twenty, Costa Rica. I am living in your future. New Englanders. Uh, Steve Rich. Thank you for the tier one sub to Algamat. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, 
There we go. Midnight Sumo Waka Think. What? 15 and 24. Interesting emote. Thank you for 14 months. Any plans for the rest of my Sunday? Uh, just streaming. Oh, uh, I got a gym buddy now for the weekends. And boy, oh boy. I, it's the best. It's the best. That's all it is. he cute bromance blooming uh so my wife it's her really good friend's husband you guys saw her uh when sh when we were doing the cooking stream and made pizza Fucking shit. Damn it, dude. Yeah, it, it's her. And, uh... Her husband's been going to the same gym as me. And one day we were over playing board games. I was like, yo, we should go together. I could use a spotter. I realize you guys don't have any clue what a gym is. Uh, it's the place you go to lift weights uh, to improve your overall health. Um, usually there's a lot of sweat going on. Lots of sweating. And no Smash Brothers either. No Smash Brothers. So, like, if you can imagine what sweating is like without Smash Brothers... Please tell us more. No gym is me, dad. Uh, and to have sex in the bathroom with naked men? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Smash Brothers in the locker room. Speaking of the gym, I get to go back to work to, uh, I get to go back tomorrow after work. Your wrist healed up. Nice. Yeah, yeah, good grunting. No Smash Bros, then what's the point? Hope you and Jim have fun. You're sweaty, but not doing Smash Brothers. That is correct. Is it possible to learn this power? At the gym? <laughs> Stupid. Do they sell soda at the gym? Um, they do if you go to Planet Fitness. They also have pizza. And they even have a tablespoon where you can probably add sugar to your, uh, Pepsi. I don't fucking know, but it wouldn't surprise me. Who the fuck is Jim? Oh. 
God damn it. God bless America. Unsweetened Pepsi is the worst. You're just having a gym partner to go with you who is equally as motivated as you are is such a plus. Because then it becomes like a competition, you know? Fucking shit. You drink raw eggs? Okay, what would you guys rather do? Drink an entire fucking carton of eggs, uncooked, or drink a liter of Pepsi? But you have to add sugar for every eight ounces. You have to get an entire carton of eggs, so 12. Uh, that's the number after 11, Mika. Uh, the number before for, before 13. And you crack them all into a glass and drink them all. Or you have to uh, drink Pepsi. With added sugar. Yeah. Slow down, what is 11? The, uh, the number after 9. Can you add sugar to the eggs? No. The eggs must be raw. Yeah, 11 is the number after 9. Thank you, Mika. Jesus Christ. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I would. I, I I cannot think of many things that I would consume instead. I would rather consume a fucking scabby than drink an entire two liter of Pepsi that you add sugar to. Raw egg whites taste so fucking bad. If you add a little bit of maple syrup to it, it's like fucking perfect. A what? A scabby. Well, for this hypothetical situation, Corbin, no sugar. But I mean, like, if you ever wanted to consume raw eggs instead of cook them, for any reason at all, it tastes really good when you have uh, maple syrup with it. Can it? I don't usually put maple syrup on my pancakes. I just put butter. And that's only when I consume pancakes. Yeah, you guys, I'm talking about in a, a hypothetical situation, you have a gun pointed to your head and in front of you, you're told you have to consume one or the other. It's a fucking giant boot full of, of fucking raw eggs, or it's a two liter of soda that has had like fucking 40 extra grams of sugar added to it. Pull the trigger. <laughs> oh. I'd rather die. What's wrong with eggs? Only 40 grams? Okay. However much is uh, five tablespoons per eight ounces. Can I eat the boot? Um...
Both so based. Hey Tofu, my mom is watching the stream with me and she sends a hello from Brazil. Is your mother hot? How old is your mother? Why not cook the egg whites then why eat them raw? You know the risk of salmonella is like so low now. The the, the risk of getting salmonella is uh pretty pretty mild now. Hell no. Don't fuck with Salmonella, I almost fucking died. I thought you could only get it from Salmon. It's one in 10,000 eggs. Is it really? I thought it was much lower than that. It's a low risk to have the collector show up in two hallways. <laughs> I get that reference. Why eat them raw? We're talking about a hypothetical situation driven. We're talking about a hypothetical situation where you have to either drink raw egg or consume Pepsi with tons of added sugar. What would you choose? What would you choose? Cooking the eggs is not an option in this hypothetical scenario. Yeah. You mean Pepsi? No, even more added sugar. Even more. Good morning, Ginger Vet Man. That's what I said, Ginger Vet Man. That's exactly what I said. What about Pilk? What the fuck is Pilk? Yo, Muja, thank you for 10 months. The Pepsi then, I think issues is the implication is the raw eggs are better for the Pepsi within with sugar. Have you ever drank eggs before? If you've never drank eggs before, what ends up happening is like the consistency is pretty gross. It's pretty gross consistency. No, 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 no. Freshly cracked right there in a glass. <clears throat> no, because I have a kitchen. You also have a fucking brain and you don't use that, so forgive me for assuming. You've done Balut, you can do an egg. What's a brain? <laughs> you 
You should start by explaining what hypothetical means. Way too long to come up with that sorry swing back. Fuzzy coaster. Can it be Coke instead of Pepsi? No, it must be Pepsi. Say my name. Hey, Stinky! Oh, Kagashin, thank you for tier two. The, the tier two and four months of subs. Thank you so much, Kagashin. Uh, apparently, Pilk is Pepsi and milk. That alert every time. That alert could be yours, and I could call you Stinky for a tier two sub, the smallest of $10 a month. Is that eggnog and Pepsi? Oh. Fucking shit. Dude, I can't have eggnog anymore. When I was like 22, I got really hammered at a buddy's house on Christmas Eve. And you guys know that pre-made eggnog mixture that's like mixed with like brandy or something. I'm not sure exactly what it's mixed with. But it's like eggnog and some kind of alcohol. Maybe it's vodka, I don't fucking know. And I drank so much of it, I got so hammered. And I passed out at his house. I woke up like five hours later and my stomach literally did not digest a fucking ounce of all that fucking eggnog. So I just threw up everywhere. It was disgusting. And I, ever since then, I can't, I can't fucking have eggnog. Yeah, the pre-mix Devin Williams eggnog. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, my stomach refused to digest it, so... Yeah. And you know what's funny is I used to love eggnog. I used to love it. eggnog is that it's made with eggs you did that with whiskey sours <sighs> I went to a party a few years ago this dude got hammered and spilled his drink and I used di dirty ashtray picked it up and drank it mm. that just reminds me of when I accidentally drank out of my dad's spittoon
Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, so my dad would often use a can of Coca-Cola uh, uh, to spit his Kodiak fucking tobacco chew shit. And one day for lunch, I'm having mac and cheese and a soda. And uh, my dad set down his spittoon close to my soda. And I was only like 13 or 14 at the time. And when I tilted the can up to drink it, all the weight of the fucking saturated, spit-filled tobacco slammed against the front of my can and into my mouth. My dad thought it was super funny. I was fucking grossed out. I don't know why I threw Yoshi. Every time I hear you say that story, I want to barf. <sighs> I remember when the toilet was broke and we were pissing in cans, a buddy came over and beers. With beers, long story short, he drank my pee. Are you guys still friends? Now they're best friends. <laughs> oh shit, I see. There was a guy in college named Toon Tommy that would walk around the party taking leftover beers and drink, put put them in a big gulp cup and chug it in front of the party. I'm pretty sure that guy is dead now. Tell the story again, you have to see if Mika will do it for science. The Gray. A bunch of rooms that may remind you of places you have already been. I thought it would. There's no way. Whoopsie doodle. This 
attack is so well made. This hack is so well made. The entire German community has been speedrunning it since its release. Let's see why. I didn't know Grimm was German. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's that's what made me uh, find the sack. Is the wild Grimm is playing it? Oh, whoops. What does my average breakfast look like? Um, for breakfast, I only ever have eggs and oatmeal. So I, uh, I cook about a cup of oatmeal and five eggs. The American Kaiser League. Wait, what? Protein powder and oatmeal is pretty good. Shit. Oops. I steam the eggs. I butter the pan, crack in the five eggs. Uh, lowest heat, put a lid on. So the the way I can tell if they're done or not is I shake it. So periodically I'm shaking around the eggs. I shake around the eggs. And um, wait. Warp of success. GG. Credits. Oh, 